This is something you can make up for a meal or you could just have it as a snack. It's Jamaican beef patties. So let's just bake it. Right, let's see what we're going to need. Some thyme, yes, we need that. Some uh, curry powder, definitely. Reasonably hot one. Garam masala, yep. Uh, turmeric, yep, we need that. Some garlic granules, you could use actually garlic, but I've got some garlic granules there. And uh, some beef stewing stock cubes. Firstly, we'll take a look at the ingredients we'll need to make our pastry up. So what we have here is 300 grams of plain flour, 150 grams of unsalted butter, garam masala, turmeric, and some salt. So what we need to do is put a teaspoon of salt into the flour, turmeric, teaspoon of this into the flour so this makes it go sort of a nice little yellowy colour gum masala a teaspoon for that as well let's give it some nice flavouring Okay, and then just mix that all together. Just mix it all up. You can smell the spice in that. Very nice. Now I'm going to mix this up in the food processor. So we tip our flour into the processor. Put it on and we'll mix it up. Now it looks like it's mixed up well. We're going to add some milk to it. You could add water if you want to instead of milk, uh, but only little bits at a time. Okay, so we'll do our mix on the board, just give it a bit of a little bit of flour to start with here. Should do. Okay, and we'll just get this. Onto the board. So we want to squeeze this all together, make it up into a a little ball of dough. And just wrap this up in cling film, ready to put into the fridge. Just pop the dough back in the fridge ready to use later. Whilst we're waiting for the pastry to chill down in the fridge, let's have a look at the main ingredients that are going to go inside the pasty. So we have 500 grams of minced beef, three spring onions, a pepper and an onion, and our various spices that we'll use. So first we need to prepare our vegetables. Firstly, cut out the core. I'm not going to cut these up too finely because I'm going to use the food processor to do that.
Now we want these vegetables chopped up into fine pieces, so I could cut them up, but I'm going to use the processor instead. So with our wok, we want to put in about a tablespoonful of vegetable oil. That should be about enough. Put the gas on, let it warm up. We then want to add our mince. And our chopped up vegetables. And mix it all in together. Need 190 millilitres, which is about that of hot water. And in that we're going to place two beef stock cubes. And just stir it up until it's all dissolved. Add the stock mix in. Garam masala, we add two teaspoonfuls into it. A spoonful of turmeric. Spoonful, add a half of curry powder. Thyme, spoonful, teaspoonful of thyme. And so you can have garlic in there, or I've got uh, garlic granules and Depending on the taste, really one to two spoonfuls, teaspoonfuls, but I'm gonna go with about one and a half in this one. And also something else you can add into it is paprika. So we'll go with a teaspoonful of paprika as well. And then mix that all in. We don't want to cook this all the way and a bit half cook it. The rest will get cooked when it's in the pies. We put this filling into the pasties now, it's going to be too soggy. So we just want to drain this off a bit. Okay, so we've got our pastry back out from the fridge. So wrap this. Okay, I'll just sprinkle a bit of flour on the board. Right, okay, let's 
set that down. I'll start rolling this out. And I made the pastry about two to three mils thick. And then we can cut out our template. So to get the template we need, just get a round plate and cut a circle around the plate. And uh, there you go. So we'll make a few of these up. When you're stacking these up, good tip is just to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the first one. So when you put your next one on there, it's not going to stick. Okay, so the filling has been drained off. We now put this into our pastry. So let's bring one of these over. We want to seal the edges, so just going to give a bit of a wash of water just around the edges. Okay, and then we're going to put the filling inside about halfway. And we do want to leave a gap so we can fold over and seal the pastry. Okay, so fold over and push the ends in firmly to seal the pastry. We'll just go around the edges for a couple of reasons. It helps to seal the pastry together, but it also adds a bit of a nice pattern to it as well. And then place your pasta on the tray. So these are nearly ready to go in the oven now. But before we put them in the oven, we just want to make some holes in the pies. This helps the steam escape from the filling. Let's the pie breathe a bit. We need to give the pies an egg wash, so we're just going to crack open an egg. And mix it around. The egg wash helps seal the pastry, but also helps make it go nice and golden when it's cooked. And our place is in the oven. Turn the oven down to number five on gas or 190 degrees centigrade. So we'll just wait now. The patty should take about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Right, let's see if these are ready now. Oh yes, they definitely are. The Jamaican beef patties. I think I might have one of those for dinner actually. If you've enjoyed that video, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of those videos, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again next time.